Welcome to a video from the digitallifes.com. In this video, I'm going to have a quick look at some of the changes coming in the new Windows 11 feature update. Since uh, Windows 11 was launched last year, Microsoft have issued monthly updates, but there are always security fixes. But there's some UI and feature changes coming uh, with this new update. So there's a few visual changes I wanted to show you. Let me start with the new weather icon. I should say as well, I'm running this from... Um, Windows Insider preview build on the dev channel so not all the features I've got on here will necessarily be in the, the release but I'm going to talk about the, the main ones and the ones that Microsoft, Microsoft said are coming. So the first one is you notice we've got the weather icon down here in the bottom left and when I hover over it it brings up the widgets. So in the previous version there was a widget button down here and that would bring up the, the weather icon up bring up the weather and all the widgets and now it's been moved down to there. Not unlike Windows uh, 10 where it was on the right hand side so so the other thing that's coming is the updated notepad app you notice this has got the default Windows 11 style and you can see that as I'm in dark mode the whole UI for notepad is in dark mode rather than the old version which is always in light mode and we've got settings options here so you can choose your themes I'm using the system one you can choose the fonts as well and uh, so there's an updated notepad it's got a few uh, UI changes to it so that looks quite good another one is the media player the new media player app replaces the Groove Music app and is one place where you can play uh, one app where you can use to play videos and music um, it doesn't support cloud streaming services or anything like that, but it will play local content, so it will play videos, and I've got actually a separate video of, the, of this application, uh, but it, it, shows, it plays videos, it plays music, it, you can manage metadata in it, uh, it even does things like if, if there's a codec it doesn't, you've not got it installed, I tried playing a DVD file and it wasn't on this machine, it went to the store and got it for me and then it could play it, so it, it's quite a nice app, it's, it's a nice update to the uh, the Groove Music app and again it supports the um, themes and accent colours uh, settings uh, from the uh, from Windows and it just is a better looking app. Actually, I've got a separate video on that with more detail on it. Another new feature is the mute unmute feature for Teams calls. So you can quickly mute and unmute your call while you're uh, in a Teams call which is a really uh, good way of sort of being, visually being able to see what's happening with your microphone. So another new feature is the ability to easily share uh, windows when you're in a Teams call, so you can do screen sharing. So you just hover over and you see you've got that share this window button, which easily shares them out. So it's a nice little feature when you're on a call. It only works with the work or uh, school version of Microsoft Teams, not the personal version. But it's a, it's a nice feature to quickly share a window when you're, when you're on a call with someone. There are currently some other features that are in the dev channel that aren't in the release yet, so I'm not sure that they'll make it through to this February update. They'll be held over things like the new look so alt tab screen, like that, as you can see here. Um, there is the hardware volume and brightness controls that have been introduced uh, in the latest build, and there's some other things like spotlight and a lot of other changes. Coming in preview next month as part of this update is the ability to run Android apps on your Windows PC. Now, you run them through the Amazon App Store uh, and the Microsoft Store, and then you can just run app Android apps. So here you see I've got the Philips Hue Amazon app, uh, Android app, and it works pretty good on here. Um, I've been using it for quite a bit, actually, for uh, controlling the lights and that kind of thing. So, you know, you, you can run Android apps on here. The one disadvantage is there's a very limited set of apps uh, available through the Amazon store, and it's US only. There are some ways to bypass some of this stuff and use the Play Store or, or manually sideload apps, but they're not supported by Microsoft. But you know, Android apps uh, do work on Windows 11, and uh, that's coming in public preview uh, as part of this February update. So, in summary, we're going to get the uh, Android apps running on Windows 11 via the Amazon App Store and the Microsoft Store. That will be coming uh, as a public preview. But actually, for release, there's going to be the, um, the weather widget icon, there's the taskbar improvements, the muting, unmuting, and um, 
the redesigned Notepad and Media Player apps. So if you want to know more about uh, new Windows features, come and check out my YouTube channel. I've got loads of stuff on there on the digitallifestyle.com and at iStixon on Twitter.